further ado, I want to introduce my very good friend, Ernesto Verdugo. Well, how many of you are business owners? Let me see a show of hands. Wow, the big majority of you. Fantastic. How many of you know what your business model is? Isn't that interesting? Every time that I ask, what is your business model? People come and tell me, well, I sell shoes, or I have a restaurant, or I run a spa. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a business model. A business model is not what you do. It's how you grow a business to make it bigger and to escalate your business. How many of you have ever got stuck in working, 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 working and reaching a level that you feel that you cannot work? The reason why that happened is because you do not know how to scale your business. So this is exactly what I'm going to be telling you how to do in these next six minutes. The first thing that you need to do is whenever you're thinking of a product, you have to think not only of a product, but how could you make a product, a tunnel brand product? What does that mean? Well, very simple. How many of you have ever heard of the book, uh, major uh, best-selling book, Chicken Soup for the Soul? Well, Chicken Soup for the Soul had chicken soup for the Middle East soul, chicken soup for the Canadian soul, chicken soup for the whatever. I mean, there were thousands of chicken soup for the soul books. That is called tunnel marketing or tunnel branding. Now think of it. I am starting a new venture that is called Speaking Dubai. But guess what? Very soon that is going to evolve to what? Speaking Bahrain. That is going to, spoke, oh, that is going to evolve afterwards to Speaking Thailand. Can you see? I can scale it. I am not just making it to buy. So whenever you're thinking of a brand, you have to make sure that you can create an umbrella brand that could be tunneled. That is something very important for you. Now, what would be the second step? First of all, you need to be able to outsource and crowdsource whatever you're doing. Outsource, if it is not part of your competencies, make sure that someone else does it so that you are working not in the company but at the company or at the business that's the important thing you can do that in many places in the world pakistan the philippines india there's a lot of places that through arbitrage that basically take advantage of different economies so for example the price that you will pay here in dubai it will be completely different at the price that you will pay in the Philippines, right? Same thing will happen in India, same thing will happen in Pakistan. That is called arbitrage, and that's how you outsource. You outsource to outsources in those different markets, and of course that works. But the most powerful of it all is when you crowdsource. Just think about it. At this very moment, I am the creator of the program called, together with my partner Mitch, of the, pro of the uh, Speak in Dubai event. Think about it. You have seen me just exchanging uh, presenters, but who is creating my content? Is it me? Who's creating my content? All the speakers that came over here, right? So what have I done? I crowdsourced. Just think about it. And this is the magic of the internet. Facebook, do they create their own content? No. Think about of Airbnb. See, look at their business model, of the business model of Airbnb. Right? Is it just one hotel, one brand? No, it isn't. They are crowdsourcing. They are making it expandable. That is just very powerful and very important. So when you take a combination of those two, that is going to be one of the biggest clues for growing. And now the last one. And this is the one that I see over and over companies failing in doing. And, it, and that is proper automation. Let me just share with you one, one example that I think is going to make it perfectly clear about why it's so important to be able to automate and to be able to replicate so that you are not the center of the business. Because if you are the center of the business, you will never be able to grow. In Las Vegas, in the late 1990s, early 2000s, there were two magicians. 
that they were always with tigers and lions, white tigers and white lions. They were performing every night in the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas. Their names were Siegfried and Roy. Now they are retired. Every night for 20, for 20 years, 30 years, they were every night on the Mirage performing for an audience. Were they scaling their business? Of course not. They were slaved because every single night they had to be in the Mirage performing. In the other hand, in the, in the hotel just across the street, there was four guys called the Blue Band Group. They were four guys that painted their face in blue and they were playing music. It was just really amazing to see them. I was paint flying all over the place and play, playing great music. But guess what? Because of course, anybody can paint their face blue. Suddenly, the same act was not only in Las Vegas, but suddenly appeared in Orlando. Suddenly appeared in New York. Suddenly it appeared in almost every city that you could think of. Can you see the difference? That is exactly how you have to think in order to scale your business. Thank you very much. <laughs>